Hey everybody and welcome back. I'm Eric for President and you know the drill, your one-stop shop for five VR stories you missed over the past couple days. But first let's start out with a few shout outs to the VR community. Being made by a single developer as a passion project for a magic spell casting game, I liked this test demo video shared on Reddit of Yorin. Check this out, Discord link in the video description. Ace Thailand's finger tracking tech demo is really coming along and he is single handedly convincing me how powerful hand tracking can be. And finally, no Valve time for Half-Life Alex confirmation from Valve, it is launching March 23rd. I could not be more excited. As always, links for everything we discussed and sources will be in the video description and timestamps for every story discussed will be in the pinned comment, that way you can watch what you want the most. Also in today's video, we have four Steam VR keys to give away, they will pop up randomly during the video. Two keys will be for Moss, one key for Super Hot VR, and one for Gorn, and those provided by Silver Vampire 42 and Tommy Franklin, so thank you for giving others the chance to have a lot of fun. We all appreciate it. Please leave a like to support today's video. We have a tremendous amount to get over in a quick amount of time. Let's jump right into the VR news. In less than a week from the launch of this video, O-Shape is officially launching on the Oculus Quest. Let's talk about why it is a must-buy title for your Oculus Quest, and in collaboration with them, how you can actually win another Oculus Quest headset giveaway, courtesy of O-Shape themselves. You've probably seen O-Shape once or twice before, as seen here by the super talented Toge VR, give him a look. O-Shape is a rhythm VR game where players have to move their full body to go through, punch, or dodge walls following the beat of music. O-Shape trains your physical and mental agility as well as your reflexes. Rhythm can play a fundamental role in the fun, and if you want new challenges, compete in the leaderboards or enjoy the new content created by the community. I think the community created content is key here, and O-Shape is cross-by compatible, has 17 songs stocked, but has full custom song support and a level editor, so gameplay will never get stale, and it will also be coming to PSVR in quarter two of this year. O-Shape for the Oculus Quest launches February 20th for $19.99. And to celebrate its launch, courtesy of O-Shape, we are doing a second Oculus Quest headset giveaway. You will find the link for entry into this one down in the pinned comments, and this one is only going to run until the launch of the video game, the launch of the video game. You do not need to purchase I want to make this clear, there is no purchase necessary. If you do not want to play this game, you don't have to, and you can still enter this contest. This headset was provided by Oship to do with whatever I want on this channel. I want to promote them a little bit because I do love the game, I have played it, I back it, and I think you should too give it a shot. Well, good luck to everyone. Check out Oshape coming on the Oculus Quest February 20th. Moving on, let's talk about an amazing guest article posted on Road to VR that shows the inflection point for VR that 2009 showed us something special. What's that mean for 2020? In a guest article on Road to VR by Tipitat Chenavasan, as always, I apologize for any mispronunciations, he reviews many facets of VR over 2019, and while he provides so many positive cup half full, yet realistic thoughts and expectations on VR, I'm only gonna be covering a couple of his points, so please read his full article for more amazing info. We focus on hardware a lot though, headsets specifically, and the sale of them, yet as Tipitat explains, the software is always as important because it separates something from just being a product to something being a platform. A product is only as good as the platform or software that is used to build it up as something valuable to those developing for it. What those developing for a platform want and need to see is not just growth, but repeatable and consistent growth that they can learn from and understand that it's not just a fluke. And that's exactly what we're seeing from Tipitat's research that VR has hit an inflection point. It is showing a very healthy trend and there's a lot of pie left for all the developers to jump in and provide a lot of good to the VR community. Based on this data collected by the end of 2017, there were around 40 titles grossing over 1 million in revenue. By the end of 2018, that total reached around 60 titles and that moves us to the 2019 inflection point of seeing now more than 100 titles grossing over 1 million, and even more promising that the majority of these were not made by AAA studios, but small indie studios, something that can be proof of a true platform. You can even see here the tremendous spike in 2019, which can probably be attributed to many things in mass due to the Oculus platform launching both the Rift S and the Oculus Quest, some great PSVR launches, and some major AAA titles like Asgard's Wrath and Half-Life Alex announcements and launches. Now I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, there is a ton in this article that I did not cover. This is only a small blip of an amazing article, so please read it on Road to VR, that way you can learn what VR games are succeeding, how we got his info, things like that. But I pass this off to you. Was 2019 an amazing year for VR? Can 2020 keep that progress going? I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, but I will say, 2019 felt like a child growing up. It was an amazing year full of pauses and VR just does not seem like a gimmick to me. It is alive and well and I can't see, wait to see what 2020 brings. Let me know your thoughts. 
I also want to take this time for a small plug for myself. You know, with YouTube videos, there's only so much time that I want these videos to take up. There are only certain topics that I can cover in a YouTube video. I got to worry about demonetization, the algorithm, tons of things. And there are a lot more important things to talk about in VR that deserve more time and more attention. And I love to give that to you with a little bit of new content launching on an alternate channel. Starting Sunday, February 16th, all Patreon members, no matter the tier, will have a long form video cast slash podcast available to them. Non-Patreon members, I got stuff for you too, so stay tuned. The new content will be longer form, 45 minutes to an hour, covering a wide range of topics on each video. Topics will be loosely planned, but this is just you, me, talking my intimate VR thoughts on the most uncomfortable couch in the world. I may ramble, bounce to new thoughts randomly, but you'll get unfiltered, unedited thoughts into topics like full dive VR, other uses for VR and AR, ethical VR questions, and just a lot more that is on my mind. Now the link for the new channel will be down in the pinned comment along with this video description. And although the long form videos are for my Patreon subscribers because you give so much to me that is the least I could do to make content for you, I will be taking clips similar to like Joe Rogan clips out of these podcasts, longer clips and posting them on that channel periodically throughout the weeks. That way you can contribute to the conversation. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So a little bit for everyone. Thank you for all you do for me. I can't wait to keep creating more and more content for you that I hope is valuable. Enough plugs for me. Let's talk Pokemon VR, something you need to try on your Oculus Quest like super quick because it's just a matter of time until Nintendo takes it down. So Pokemon VR is absolutely a minimum viable product. Let's not sugarcoat that, but it's the closest playable Pokemon VR game we have and it's for the Oculus Quest. The scope of detail the developer is attempting to bring includes currently every single Pokemon up to the sixth generation, and even has some of the seventh generation Pokemon as well with almost all Mega Evolutions included, and every Pokemon has their shiny version as well. They include a huge amount of moves trying to cover every single one they can, but expect some bugs for less common ones. You can walk around using teleportation or smooth locomotion with the controller joystick. Right now, this is again a super early alpha, but it's pretty impressive so far, so go try your hand at some PvP Pokemon battles. FYI as well, Pokemon catching is coming soon, but as of now in the alpha, you can actually start with owning every single Pokemon in the game so you can go out and make your dream team. Now this is currently not approved on SideQuest because of the copyright claims that would be coming on it. However, the APK will be in this video's description to download for it and instructions on how to use SideQuest to install it on your Oculus Quest. But let me know your thoughts. Is Pokemon VR something that you would love to play in VR? I'm gonna assume the answer is yes. I mean, who wouldn't? It's only a matter of time until this probably gets taken down, but go enjoy it. Let the developer know your thoughts. Join the Discord. Let him know how to improve his game. Maybe we'll get lucky and be able to play this for quite a while. Who knows? Now, I know many of you probably already know this, but if you know anything about VR sales, a lot of times, especially on the Oculus Store, they're just, they're, they're terrible. But a humble bumble deal for VR is putting on a clinic of value. Let's talk about it. We talk about bad VR sales all the time, like I said, especially when an Oculus sale is just absolutely horrible. But Humble Bumble right now is putting on a VR clinic for a good deal. And for just $15, you'll get $159 worth of VR titles, including the monster hits. The full $15 bundle will include the Cosmic Trip game, Smashbox Arena, Gorn, Budget Cuts, Space Pirate Trainer, Super Hot, and Moss. Now Moss alone to me is worth it here, but if you don't have any of these, or even if you have just a couple, you are likely going to save money and get a lot of value from buying this bundle. Now these are all Steam VR keys, however, you can get most headsets to work with Steam VR, and Oculus Quest users can use the Oculus Link with these titles. Many of them will also work with Virtual Desktop and the Oculus Quest as well. It's really nice to see a bundle like this because it is especially for new VR users. If a lot of headsets are being sold right now, well, this is a great bundle to get a lot of users, a solid library of a lot of content. And I'd love to see more like this. And I wish Oculus would back their product up with some great sales as well, but we'll see if that's happening. With that being said, so that is the end of today's episode. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like to support this video. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to never miss an upload. Join the Patreon because everything put to that just gets reinvested back to the channel. And with that being said, can't wait for the next one, VR Space Cowboys.